Am I supposed to start now? Oh, okay, sorry. I thought they would put the time like in the last competition. So let me be your secret agent today. I want to reveal the dirty little secret of plastic. We all know most of plastic is very malleable. That's why we love it, because we can give it to little children, it's light, it's awesome, it doesn't break. What we don't know is that to be malleable, to be flexible, plastic have phthalates. And phthalates leak out of the plastic into the product we consume, which is almost everything, food, beverage, beauty products, and then when we consume the product, it comes inside of us. Now, if you are pregnant, or if you are giving um, breast, breastfeeding, this phthalate will be able to reach the brain of the embryo or the brain of the children in a very sensitive time. This is a moment where the brain is under construction. So any substance is key, and it will make things work and get form. If you have phthalate on them, children are going to have IQ deficit, will have less uh, IQ, we will, they will have um, some brain disorders, like they won't be able to concentrate. And of course, we don't want that. And me, as your secret agent, my duty is to give solutions. First of all, don't get me wrong, plastics are awesome. They are a material that is here to stay, because they have bring so much in technology. They have bring so much in healthcare and in research. It's just that we don't want them poisoning our food. It's fair, no? I think. We have many options. We have porcelain, and we have glass, and we have carton, so we can drink tea in this like millinery tradition from Asia in porcelain. We can have our coffee in a very old tradition too. We can have bamboo cups to take away instead of the paper ones wrapped on paraffin that is also containing phthalates. We need to embrace plastic dirty little secret, embrace it, and shift it out of our daily routine into highly relevant activities. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>